Well, it's very pleasing to to, to see the, the the way the West Indian West Indian players went about the game against Australia, where with Australia is one of the dominant T20 teams around the world. So it's pleasing for for me as a past West Indies players to see or or, or the, the way of the boys um, went about their business. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Just, just the way they go about, they, they go about their, their attacking role. Cause these guys been playing a lot of T Twenty cricket currently, and we all know that once your match fit and your 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 mind is in the right place, yeah, and the coach is giving you the confidence to go out there and, and play your natural game. This is what this is the result we're gonna see more often. Yeah, definitely. Cause as we as we spoke about momentum and form. Yeah, the last four games, Monte been bowling well in a T20 format. So this uh, this this is a good idea. This is a good idea for the coach, the coach and captain to have to 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 be to have 14 guys and unsure the 11, the combination that they need to come up with to play the first game. It's a With just hours to go before the start of the ICC Men's T20 World Cup, it's safe to say we are in the final straight away. Welcome to another edition of At The Wicket. On the eve of West Indies' commanding victory over, over Australia in that T20 warm-up game going into the World Cup. We have guests here, Danza Hyatt, West Indies analyst, as we look to review that game. Danza, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And, and again... Uh -huh. Game brought a lot of thrill to, to West Indian fans um, in the manner in which they approached the game. How did how was it for you? Well, it's very pleasing to to, to see the, the the way the West Indian West Indian players went about the game against Australia, where with Australia is one of the dominant T20 teams around the world. So it's pleasing for for me as a past West Indian players to see or or, or the, the way of the boys um, went about their business. Yeah, the, the brand of cricket that, that is being played by the West Indies is something that has been talked about around the world. And that attacking, aggressive style of cricket we, we saw um, two fifties in the, in the World Cup and all of that. In the IPL, I should say. And could we be looking at seeing two fifties being scored in the, in the World Cup uh, with this sort of approach by the West Indies? And are they setting the tone? Well, definitely, because if you, if, you, if, you, if you can think back about the two a weeks, a week ago, um, the coach, the coach, which is Darren, Darren Sammy, spoke about the brand of cricket that they want to, to, to play. And I heard Brendan King, who was the standing captain for the three games in Jamaica, and they spoke about the brand that they want to, to play along along with the roles of the players in the team. And when I, when I took up the scorecard last night and looked on the scorecard, I saw I saw a level of that where the guy is coming in and, they, and, and adapting to their, their, their roles. Um, it wasn't a full strength Australia team, um, we must admit. However, um, Australia is Australia. They have quality players in their lineup, and even if all their players went there, all their players didn't play. These are quality players that are playing in, in, in the IPL. Uh, it, it's good to see the approach against them, um, especially the likes of Nicholas Puran, who went out there and just took the game to them. 75 of 25 deliveries going at a 300 strike rate uh, impressive Robman Powell came out as you said and just followed with that that role of 52 of 25 and Sheffin Rutherford came out blistering in the end with 47 of 18 you know and Johnson Charles stayed there and holding innings together with 40 of 31 you wouldn't think that he would be the one playing that sort of role holding an innings together but he did that quite well and allowed us in this to get to 250 yeah, definitely, definitely. Just, just the way they go about, they, they go about their, their attacking role. Cause these guys been playing a lot of T Twenty cricket currently, and we all know that once your match fit and your, your your mind is in the right place, yeah, and the coach is giving you the confidence to go out there and, and play your natural game. This is what this is the result we're gonna see more often. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant to see, and and you know, just Hazelwood, Tim David. Ashton Agar, Nathan Ellis, Adam Zampa, all these players, I think, had uh, IPL contracts. I think Josh Hazelwood, I don't know if he, I don't remember him playing in the IPL, but he's a quality yeah. player that has yeah, uh, a quality test ball. 
Yeah. Well, even yeah. twenty because if you look at what he would have done in the IPL, even in in, in recent past, in the past um, three seasons, this season he wasn't there. I think it was because of some injury concerns. <clears throat> but just some these players all went for over ten and over. Nathan Ellis went for for ten and over, ten point five and over, and that was that was, and and also Tim David at ten flat and over. Um, and that was that was their best bowling. When you look at just Hazelwood traveling, 55 off his four, Ashton Agar, 58 off his four, and Adam Zampa, despite getting two wickets. 62 60 off his four. Brilliant this yeah. back. I'm telling you, the, with, 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 the, with the power, the with the power that this um this squad possess, yeah, everybody every batter that go 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 out there to bat can go out there and play their, their natural game. Cause when you look on the squad or the setup that they, they, they're packing, you have the Brendan King, you have Nicholas Pru, and you have Shai Hope, you have Char Johnson Charles, you have Rabman Powell, you have Ed Meyer, you have Rutherford, you have guys that just they can come up, come out there to bat and they can just start go at ball one. From the yeah. so it don't matter the opposition or the quality of the bowling, because we, we know how the cricket game is. Once the pressure is on, on more often than not, the bowlers feel the pressure more. So they make more, more, more mistake, and then with the power that the West Indies squad possess, they're gonna always put pressure on, on, on teams. Yeah, and and we, we would have said already that Australia wasn't at full strength, but neither was the West Indies because Brandon yeah. King did not did not bat, and Andre Russell, arguably yeah. he, he, arguably the best all round in the world currently at his, the way he's going because his bowling has improved. He didn't bowl a ball last night. He didn't face a delivery last night with a bat. So yeah. if if West Indies can put up 250 and you could tell people that look, Andre Russell did not face a delivery, Brandon King didn't have to be out there, that says a lot. And then and control, Shepard, yeah, and Shepard didn't face a ball either. And Bamara Shepard didn't face a delivery uh, either. So it's looking good. And and then they come and back it up well with, with bowling. I guess you, when you're chasing 250, you go help a letter. So it's natural yeah. that they'll go hard at, at the top. That's um Australia. But the way West Indies held their cool and took the and, and take the game um with Shamar Joseph getting 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 the, the first wicket, but then just in in the power play and just backing it up in terms of the, the, the bowlers coming in, do what was necessary. It wasn't superb, but did what was necessary on the day to yes. secure with me. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because remember the cricket play on the day, it don't matter the team, we were saying Australia was an understrength team but i couldn't say i wouldn't i wouldn't agree totally because this australian team wouldn't wouldn't go on the park and allow the allow their their, their, their to be get to, to be trashed by any opposition yeah so it, it's an australian team you're playing against you're playing against the best even though it's a warm-up game because it's the last game before the world cup so every, everyone would want to get in and get a feel of it get get a momentum going then you look at the West Indian, the, the, the way they play this the last four games, they, all momentum is going with them. So I just want them to continue and go on this path. Improve from here. And then yeah. we, we fans around the world will be happy. Yeah. As we're talking about momentum, a, a bowler that certainly would, would want to see the momentum trap go with into the World Cup um, starting on Sunday is Gurakesh Moti. Going into the tournament, you'd look at Akilo Sane would be the front line spinner. And Gurekesh Moti would be, ah, uh, maybe he'll play if the conditions suit it and you can play three spinners and all that because you expect Rustin Chase to be in there as that off spinning option, as that floater, um, if you need somebody, if you lose two early wickets or so. But if you look at that South Africa series, Gurekesh Moti was superb. And then, yeah. back it up last night in a game that Australia scored 222, 11 and over, they, they scored that. And, and Gurekesh Moti went for 7.75 and over and taking two wickets. 31 of his four, the, four overs. Brilliant bowling um, from Gurekesh Moti. Looks a sure start for the World Cup. Yeah, definitely. Because as we, as we spoke about momentum and farm, yeah, the last four games, Monte been bowling well mm -hmm. in a T20 format. So this uh, this this is a good edit. This is a good edit for the coach, the coach and captain to have. To, to to be to have 14 guys and unsure the 11 the combination that they need to come up with to play the first game it's a it's a good place to be at as a team yeah as a team captain and coach is going to sit down and have a lot of choices a lot of options and i, I know that they're going to make the right choices and we'll be we'll be sitting well man 
I want to continue to improve from this start because this is the start of our World Cup campaign. The, the, the three games against South Africa in Jamaica and then this practice warm up game. So we we are on the we we're, we're on the right track going forward in this World Cup. Yes, as you talk about in, on the right track going into the World Cup, let's look ahead to Sunday. And Papua New Guinea uh, on Sunday is not a team that really would expect to, to give too much trouble to West Indies unless they take them lightly and not play the brand of cricket that they should. So, with, with that being said, um, I would want to, to look ahead to what is expected of the West Indies. How do you see them um, approaching approaching the game against Papua New Guinea? Well, I, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think. I, I, I know this West Indian team not going to take anybody lightly because all the guys look so hungry for success. Yeah, and they, they're doing the basic, and they, they, they're they're coming out with this brand that they spoke about earlier. So it don't matter who they're playing against. If we're playing against Australia or playing against Papua New Guinea, we're gonna go out there and play the same brand of cricket. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. I just need it, need them to continue to go from strength to strength, and we'll be all right. Yeah, and and just lastly, we have we, we can't close without you giving us your potential um starting eleven for 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 the game against against uh Papua New Guinea. Well, all right. So my 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 eleven for for the first game would be Brandon King, Johnson yeah, yeah. Charles, Nicholas Puran, Ravman Powell, Andre Russell. Um, that's what six. You were at five. You at five. Um, Moti. Yes, Chase. Chase. What's that? Seven. So we had six. We had oh, six. Seven. Sorry, seven. 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 Um, Joseph. That's Shamar. Both Joseph. Uh, no, no. One. I'll go with Shamar. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll go I'll go shy up over. Between shy up or Russ and Chase. I'm still puzzled about that that slot. Yeah, that's nine. We have two fast bowler. Um, um, yeah, have the Aspen. You know? mm. So, so I must ask you. So you're saying, Vice Captain Azari Joseph might not meet this this eleven. Well, if we're, if we're picking if we're picking guys that are on farm, and and, and current current playing. I would go ahead with Joseph and Shepard, along with Andre Russell, and then so, two spinner. That's five. So Shepard, Shama so, Joseph, so Akilah Sain, and 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 Azari Joseph is the the two left for for that final slot for you. Yes, I I I will, I will, that, that's my that would be my eleven. Okay, so so you would have Azari Joseph and <laughs> Akilah Sain. So it would be still between Hope and and Chase. Yes. So who would you go for? Right now, I'll, right now I would go, I would go with with Chase and Current Farm. All right, Chase. So no space. Yeah, I remember we're, we're playing in the Western East, so we're gonna use it. We're gonna try to use the spinners, at least two spinners, two slow bowlers. Okay, all right. Not 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 a bad eleven. I, I I certainly I certainly would want to see um this team take the field and do ex extremely well. I think I think that yeah. when you have this sort of headache, it's a good headache to have. Yeah, I'm going really to good because all players, the guys like, on farm. All guys on farm. That's the thing because as when we look at even Azari Joseph coming out of the IPL, didn't play a lot. He played at the front first of part of the IPL, didn't look well. But then if you look at well, last night, he went for eleven and over. We can't really look too much at the that the economy rate last night because it was everybody was going for it. But yeah. he took two wickets. So at the same time, not he necessarily where you're doing well. He's doing well. Um. And if 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 get all things together, I think this team should should do well. So good headache to have, and yep, I, I would not want to and Sammy and <laughs> and Ravman Powell because I think Gurekesh Moti is is one that I think really would give them that headache because um you you now can't leave Gurekesh Moti out the team. So are we looking at a case where we might see Akilu Sain as prolific as he has been over the the, the past few months, um not having a place in the eleven. That's something we'll yeah. have to wait and, and, and that's cricket because remember you have to go with the guys and farm yeah and he's he's in farm right now 
So we'll have to just try with it. We'll have to go with him as a as the number one spinner right now. Yeah. And and, and I presume that um as much as that form of Sheriff in Waterford last night, I presume he's there yeah. as a backup to an Andre Ross in that power hitting down the order if Andre Ross yeah. is unavailable. Um like like it was last night, so he got that opportunity. But given Andre Ross should be ready to start for the for the that game, the first throughout the World Cup, then I expect him to to, to start right in there. Definitely. All right, um, there you have it. Preview for the World Cup. Exciting news. We are looking ahead to, to the World Cup, and hopefully, we will join you again uh, before the uh, maybe at the toss where we look at the starting eleven and, and we look at what to expect for the game. It's good to see exciting times for West Indies. Rally yep. around the West Indies again. Mm -hmm.